My name is Bob Tassen and I am a metallurgical technician here at Eagle. Um, prior to coming here, I was a science teacher for 18 years and it gave me a real good background in the process of, uh, of mining and what's happening here. And mining has been a part of my family history for over a hundred years and in the beginning I didn't think I was going to attend college, I just figured I would become a miner like my grandparents. Today we are running float tests. Float testing is done to help us understand what's going on in the mill as far as the amounts of reagents that we use and also the cost of the reagents. So what we have to do is go out into the plant and there you will find a ball mill which is a huge tumbler that has steel balls inside that pulverizes all of the ore and water is added to it. So we're taking a sample of what comes out of the mill which looks a lot like dark dreary water and at the bottom there's a very thick layer of all the metal and material that's inside so we pour it into here. The first segment is a baseline where we take conditions in the mill that we're floating with right now and then just run it to see where we're at. Then in the next four steps what we do is change the chemicals that we use as far as the suppressants and frothers and the dispersants so we can either try to use less or maybe come up with a better chemical down the road. Here we go. Three, two, one, and floating. You can really see the copper on the surface right now. Uh, the bubbles look really solid and heavy. Uh, there's also no windows inside the bubbles to make them look like it's half empty. What people don't realize is that it looks like a bunch of bubbles, but the bubbles are actually holding metal. And when you tilt it sideways, there's a pretty fair amount of metal in there. It looks like sand. The metal will be poured from the tray into the filter and pressurized with air, so we're left with a cake on the bottom. Then this cake will have our material in a circular shape which will go into the oven to be dried and then later processed by our chemist uh, next door in the lab. It's really cool. There's a lot of interesting things going on here on a very large scale in the mill and this is a smaller scale of what's actually happening inside the plant right now.